Okay, curves and regions on the uh, complex plane. Curves and regions on the complex plane are sets of points representing complex numbers described by a certain rules or condition placed on a variable uh, complex number Z. Okay, so basically we're just doing curve sketching with the complex numbers. Now, uh, the sets of points is often called the locus of Z. And that's what we just have to find. If they find the locus, that means just find the equation. To solve locus problems, we use two approaches. Just gonna put it all down, yep. First one is in an algebraic approach. So I solve algebraically by first deriving or uh, well getting the uh, Cartesian equation, which is z equals x plus yi. And the second is a um, geometric approach, just uh, solving by graphically, by using the definitions of modulus and argument. Okay. And um, um, the next three videos will be modulus on the complex plane, and then arguments on the complex plane and regions on the complex plane. So the first one is um, modulus on the complex plane. Example one, sketch each curve use, using um, algebraic approach, part one. Part two will be geometric approach. So there are the two questions we got to do. The first one is absolute value of z equals three. So this, as soon as you see this, you'll have to think about modulus. So algebraically, we're going to put, um, to say let z equals x plus yi, and obviously x and y has to be real. And then I'm gonna replace z with x plus yi. And when is absolute value of that is modulus, isn't it? Modulus will be uh, square root of x squared plus y squared equals three, and we square both sides because we don't want a square root. So then you can see it's a circle, isn't it? X squared plus y squared equals nine. It's a circle with a center zero, zero origin, and radius is three. So if I sketch that, I will get something like this. Okay. So a little red dots is just where the the set of dots. That's the locus. So locus will be x squared plus y squared equals nine. Okay. Now let's have, let's have a look at it graphically. So um, modulus z equals three means now this really means z take away is a zero, which is the um, zero real and zero imaginary. So the center is zero, zero, and the three is equal distance, which is radius, okay? So the distance of Z from origin is three units. So from center to everywhere, it's three. So it's a circle with radius three. That's what it is. So therefore we can say, conclusion from both cases, um, algebraically and graphically, the locus, the equation of Z, is a circle with center zero zero origin and radius three. Okay, so second example, let's have a look at that. Okay, it's a little bit different form, but it's the same. So algebraically, we use z equals x plus y i, and of course x y is they are real. And I replace the z with x plus y i. And then I'm putting together all the uh, real parts and then imaginary parts together. And obviously we're doing modulus with that because this absolute value of that is modulus. And we square both sides. There you go, we got um, circle, but this time the center is not origin, it's minus one and two, radius is one. So if I sketch that, I will get something like this okay so when you sketch it make sure your graph is a big enough and put all the necessary features
All right, so graphically, now we need to know the um, where the center is to find out. We need to rewrite in the form of z minus something and absolute value equals one. So what I've done was this, okay? So this gives me the center is minus one and two and radius is one. So what that means is the distance of z from minus one plus two i, which is on the number plane to be minus one and two, the coordinates, and is one, which is radius one. So it's uh, again, the uh, circle with the center minus one and two and radius one. And it'll be the same uh, diagram. And the conclusion will be the locus of Z is a circle sent with the center minus one and two and radius one. Okay, example two. Sketch absolute value of Z minus two equals absolute value of Z minus two I using part A, an algebraic approach, part B, a uh, geometric approach. So if we solve it algebraically, again, first step will be the let z equals x plus y i, and don't forget to mention x and y are real, and I'll replace the z with x plus y i, and then put it together, all the real parts together and imaginary parts together, and then I'm gonna find the modulus, you can see the pattern happening so, so the more you do the questions you will get it into the automatic mode okay so they we got this and then I'm just going to expand this one and you can see already cancel them out as I expand it and then you're left with this and it'll be the straight line y equals x on the side here something like this and graphically so as you can see z minus 2 is really z minus 2 plus 0 imaginary there's no imaginary number in this one and here no real numbers in here so what, what does that really mean it's just um, the point indicating point the center or the point is 2 0 and 0 2 so if i sort of sketch that and also you can tell that they're equal distance, yeah? So if I put two, two, zero, and zero, two there, and it's equal distance from two and, um, well, two I and a two. So to get the equal distance, you need to have to go through the middle parts of it, which is the Y equals X. And also it is, we can say it is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining 2, 0 and 0, 2. So my final graph will look like this. Okay.